If you're looking for a free and easy way to transfer files from your iPhone or iPad to your Mac or PC, in this video I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today, where in this one I'll be showing you a free app that allows you to transfer your files and documents via Wi-Fi between your iPhone, iPad, Mac and PC. It's called Documents and it is super cool. Let's jump in now and get started. So I'm here on my iPad, but the app works just as well on iPhone. I've searched for documents and here it is. Documents by Riaddle or Riedel, however you want to say it. And we can go ahead and download and then open this app. Here it is. Very simple looking on the surface, very easy to use, but super powerful when we get in and show you what it can do. So let's jump in and show that now. So here on the left, I have all of my file locations and connections. Now the layout on your iPhone is a little bit different, but all of the same functions are there. What we wanna do for this process is come down to computer and tap on that one. And then here it brings up this code and it gives you this web address that we can actually log into, enter this code and it creates a local connection. So this is transferring not over the internet, but between our devices on our own wireless. Wi-Fi network. So let's jump over into the PC now and set it up over there. So here we are in the Google Chrome browser and I've gone to docstransfer.com. This is the screen that I'm greeted with. All I need to do now is enter that four digit code that we had on the previous iPad screen. It's going to establish a local connection and then we're going to be able to transfer files to and from our iPad. So here we are, we're in here. You might've noticed the code was different. I did have to restart it. Over here on the iPad, it will look like this. It will say connected, Google Chrome there. We can disconnect by clicking or tapping on that one there and it says don't close documents to keep the connection stable so we need to leave this open here on our ipad but over here on the pc we can come in here and here's one i prepared earlier i've zipped up a garage band project just to show you how this works if i want to download this i select it down the bottom here we click on download and that's going to go and start downloading now that's a 200 megabyte file and you can see just how quickly that is downloading. It is almost done. It's just putting the final touches on that. 231 megabytes and it is done there in the bottom left corner. If we want to open that one up, all we need to do is click on that. It's going to take us into our download file location right there in Windows Explorer. And there it is. It's our .band file that's inside that .zip file. So it's as simple as that to get files transferred from our iPad or iPhone over to our PC. But what what about the other way? What if you want to send files straight to your iPhone or iPad? Well, let's show you how to get that done now. So here's a folder of files I prepared earlier. We've got a video file, an audio file, a JPEG image file, and even a Word document just to really put this to the test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shift click to select all of these. And all I need to do is click and drag these. And if I hold them over here and let go, that is going to upload these files. And there you can again see the speed. We've got four files. One of them's a video file. They've all been successfully uploaded. And boom, there you go, a 35 minute video file a WAV file, high-res WAV file, my thumbnail for a recent video, and even a document are all in there. Now, if we'd put these into the folder, it would have gone into there. You don't have a heap of control over the folder structure in here, but we can change that around when we jump back over to the iPad, which is what we're going to do now so that we can check out how we can now use these files. So we're back here on the iPad, we've disconnected from the computer and you can see that if we wanna reconnect, it'll give us a fresh code. And we just need to go back to the website, enter that code and we'll be good to go. But let's jump over to my files now and see where it's placed these. We can see here, we've got the video file, we've got the audio file, the thumbnail and the document and they're all right here and ready to be used. Now you can do things like add folders down here, you can select different items and when you select things, you can see you've got a bunch of different options you can do. You can share, you can move, you can compress, you can do a bunch of things. And if you want to learn more about this, then uh, go down to the comments right now and say more documents, videos, Pete, and I'll be sure to do that. Or if you're in the future, check the description. They may already be there. But for now, let's jump in and show you what we can now do with these documents now that they're transferred. Now, the beautiful part about documents is that we can now use these documents right here in the app. So if I tap on this video... 
it opens up and starts playing that podcast episode and I can watch that here. It even keeps track of where I'm up to. I can air play it. It's actually a really cool media player. So if you just want to play video files or audio files, this is a pretty cool way to do it. We've also got here uh, an audio player. So if I tap that one, it's going to play my audio file. And we can pause and we can skip. We've got audio player controls there while we're browsing around. How cool is that? Hit the X to get rid of it. Our image viewer here is going to bring up our image. Now, we don't have a whole lot of editing. There's a little bit of markup that we can do there, but not a whole lot in the way of image editing. But it's still cool that we can view these right here. We'll click the back button to go back. And then even cooler is that we have a document a viewer. So even a Word document like this one, we can bring this up. Now, it's not going to work perfectly, as you can see there with this one. Uh, this is something that my daughter did. It doesn't have the right formatting, but you've got some of the things in there that are going to be able to read your document. And if it's text only, it's going to work really well. So you won't have any problem with that. And of course, what we can do from here is you can actually then use these. You can save these out to your files location and use them in other ways. So let's just show you that final thing, just so that if you want to use these within other apps, you know how to do it. Now, what we could do if we wanted to, we could select and share these over to another folder, say in our files app. So if we wanted to do that, we tap select in the top right corner, we tap on say this WAV file here, and over here on the left, what I can do is I can tap on the share button here, and that will bring up our standard share sheet where I can share it to any of the apps, to iMovie, to anywhere else I might want to, or I can actually save it to my files. So if I tap save to files on this one, it's gonna bring up our share sheet here, and eventually once it's finished scanning, through all of my files, we can actually save it to any of the locations that I have here on my iPad. I clearly need to clean up that took a while, but here we go. I can just put it here in my GarageBand for iOS file transfer folder, hit save, and boom, that sent that WAV file over to my files location. But there's an even easier way to do this, which I'm going to show you now. So what I'm going to do is go over to the Files app. So I'm going to go to my app switcher here, open up Files. Now you're probably familiar with this. It's a, the standard iOS file management app here. But what you'll notice is that one of the locations here is Documents. So yes, we've got our Documents stored right here. So if you don't have that there, click on the little three dots here, go to edit, and then you can actually edit your location. So if documents isn't selected, but it's installed, just add it there. You can see you can add it just there, hit done. And then when we tap on documents, you guessed it, all of those documents in that files location are right here. So we can transfer to and from any other folder directly from within here. And cool things like this, if we come in here to this GarageBand project that I had in here before, we can actually tap on that one. It will unzip it, uncompress it, and be ready to go there. And all we need to then do is tap on that one. It's gonna open up GarageBand and open up our project. So whatever different file type you have in here and whatever you're doing, you're going to be able to access those files and use them in any of the other apps that you have on your iPad or your iPhone. How cool is the Documents app? But there are other ways that you can transfer files and there's two videos right down below with some other methods you may want to check out. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.